Hi, this is Trey Passer, and welcome to the Horoscope 101 channel. It's Saturday, so it's my day, and this week it's Ghost Week on the Horoscope 101 channel, and the movie that I'll be reviewing for you is 1963's uh, The Haunting, a film by director Robert Weiss. There we go. Uh, now, this movie is uh, uh, stars Julie Harris, Claire Bloom, Richard Johnson, Russ Tamlin, and Louise Maxwell. Okay, uh, this story is about um, the uh, Dr. Markaway, played by Richard Johnson. He's a, uh, uh, I guess, a, a, a doctor of the paranormal. Okay, and he's doing research on the existence of ghosts, and he wants to investigate uh, Hill House, which is the, the house in question. Uh, this is a house that has a history. It's been, a, it's like a 90 year, year old uh, Victorian house that's located in a remote part of New England and it has a history they say it's been well it's been up for like 90 years and it has a history of tragedy associated with it and a lot of tragic deaths have happened at the house and he wants to investigate it you know as part of the experiment so um, he has to go to the, the current owners of the house and get permission and to do it you know they are uh, people allow him to do it but they he has to uh, they let him bring, like, the lady that's in charge of the house. Now she lets her nephew, uh, named Luke, played by Russ Tamlin, he, he's going to be one of the people that stay at the house. And then also the doctor gets two other people. One person is uh, Eleanor uh, Lance, uh, and another one is the Theodora, okay? Uh, Theodora is chosen because she has the psychic abilities, and Eleanor is chosen because she experienced uh, she has an experience with a ghost basically <laughs> with a poltergeist okay and Eleanor is kind of repressed she took care of her own of her uh, she spent most of her life taking care of her uh, her ill mother until her death like I said Theodore is there for her psychic ability and Luke is just like he's the nephew of the lady that owns the house and and she's really skeptical you know so she sends her nephew they Luke just to, you know, to monitor basically what's going on and to make sure everything's in the up and up. And of course, eventually Luke is going to inherit the house. Okay, and so they venture, those four, venture into to Hill House. And like I said, Hill House has a history of uh, tragic deaths. Like the guy who built it, uh, his wife died before she got to live in it. Okay, he died, he actually died away from the house, but his second wife died in the house. <laughs> Okay, and then the daughter from the first marriage, she actually got to live in the house, but she died at an old age, basically being ignored by her young caretaker, who actually tragically hung herself from the house. So it has a history of death in the house. Okay, now when these four people enter the house, you know, they enter the house, and then at night <laughs> they start to hear strange noises and just creepy sounds, you know, coming from the hall, from the hallway, specifically, it focuses this house, the haunting that takes place in this house specifically targets Ella, the character of Eleanor. Okay, it specifically tunes into her, and basically all, most of the manifestations that happen in the house with the, you know, they appear to, you know, to Eleanor. She gets all the, you know, the the creepy, creepy noises, the loud banging, and stuff. And this movie is really, really effective with that. Uh, you, the, just the way it's shot, and it's, it's movies film. This movie was uh, filmed in nineteen sixty three, and it's filmed in black and white, and that adds to the uh, whole ambiance of the movie, and it and it makes everything that much more eerie. And like I said, you hear a lot of loud banging and intriguing, then it stops, and this the whole atmosphere of this movie is absolutely fantastic, and it just really adds to it. You know, the overall creepy feeling of the house. Like I said, the first even the, like the first night they spend in there. Eleanor and, the and Theodora have connecting rooms, and they start hearing the, you know, they start hearing a banging, and they, you know, they run into the, into Eleanor's room together, and then you just hear this loud bang, like it's coming closer and closer, and you just, you hear so, it's so, the way they set up this movie, it's just great. Actually, this and this movie is based on a novel, okay, but this movie is has this movie is just fantastic with the whole creepy atmosphere. Like I said, the uh, nephew Luke, he's a skeptic; he doesn't really believe it. But then soon enough, 
you know, he starts experiencing things. So he, and then he starts believing. Then Doctor Markway is, like I say, he's he's actually wanting things to happen actually in the house. And then when things start to happen, yeah, he starts get he starts to get concerned because it seems like a, to, to a point that it's driving the character of Eleanor a little nuts. And she's you know because of her repressed uh, repressed growing up, you know, having just you know take care of her mother all the time. She's kind of repressed, and she's kind of she's terrified of the house, and yet she's kind of in tune in the house, and she thinks she has a place in the house, and she doesn't really want to leave, and she's just, I think the house specifically is targeting, like I said, the house specifically kind of targets her, and it's a really great movie, it's a really creepy atmosphere, you get great acting by, um, by uh, Julie Harris, who plays Eleanor, she's really, really good in this, and then you have uh, Claire Bloom, who plays Theodora, the, you know, the one that's psychic. Then you have Richard Johnson. He plays Dr. John McRae, who was in charge of the experiment. Okay, and he's good. In, and then you also have Russ Tamline, who plays Luke Sanderson, the nephew that comes to stay in the house just to make sure everything's on the up and up. And it's a really good, it's a good ghost story. It's a good, it's, it's real nice and creepy. The whole atmosphere is set up beautifully and the scare, you know, you get a lot of actually terrifying. They do a great job of making things terrifying without you actually seeing anything. Okay, which is I think really adds to to the whole feel of this movie, and this movie is just absolutely fantastic. I saw this movie I think uh, a long time ago, like on cable, and then I just really really liked it, so I, I you know I bought the VHS. Okay, and then I'm also gonna let you know this movie is gonna be coming on um, on uh, Blu-ray I think in October. I think October 15th is gonna get released on Blu-ray, so it's definitely worth seeing. And like I said, there's a lot of twists and turns, and I don't want to spoil exactly what happens during the middle part of the movie and towards the end, but it's totally worth getting, and this is one of the best, you know, uh, haunted movies, I think, that's been made, okay? I think this is probably one that's set the standard for it, okay? So um, definitely worth checking out. So, um, again, let me know what you think if you've seen it, okay? Uh, again, uh, thank you for watching, and again, tomorrow, tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, Claire's Day, and it'll be the last day of the week for, uh, for the Ghost Week. Okay, let me know what you think, and feel free to leave your comments down below. And this is Trey Passer for the Horoscope 101 channel saying so long and take care.